How's it going guys and welcome to the next episode of our Towns LP where we had left off we had gotten all of our aqueducts working up here and we had started to fiddle around with our workshop. So without further ado let's jump straight in and actually let's discuss this building. I I have completed it and I'm not sure if I like it yet. It's kind of derpy like eh, it's a little derpy there. There's definitely some indication of derp right here and right here so we have three kind of triangulated points of derp that I don't really like. Hopefully we can iron that out in the future, but with the way that the roof glue works, I'm not positive that I can fix these without making the roof look even stranger. So for the time being, it is what it is. I've started to delete all of these little houses over here. As you can see, there are much, well, there are not quite as many over here. So we have a lot less squatters, a lot of less people kind of sleeping on wooden planks set on top of these grasses, these fields of merry grasses. My grasses are merry here in the township of Boo. Our grass sings. It's kind of Disney-ish. It gets a little obnoxious on repeat days. Like I try, I tell them to circulate their kind of musical chimes, but their, their musical act, I tell them to circulate it. They don't really listen. The grass, they only know two or three different numbers, so we kind of put up with it. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to get this other little workshop area going. So this is largely going to be saved for smelters, ite smithies, anvils, and so forth. So this is where all of our metalworking is going to take place. I haven't really decided. I kind of want this to be open air right here. That's really kind of what I'm leaning towards at the moment. I'd like to build this. Maybe this will be kind of a retaining wall. And then this right here will be little workshops. There'll be maybe a walkway going through the center. And then we can put like the market right here, which would be really cool. I like that idea a lot. So that may be what happens right here. We'll take a look and we'll take, we'll kind of see what happens in the future though. You can never tell. I also have failed to move my masonry, which I just realized. So quite possibly I may end up kind of, eh, I may minimize my extra workspace by making space for the masonry. So let's do that too. I guess we'll go four out maybe. Yeah, that seems fine. That'll look good. Yeah, that'll work. I like that a lot. Now, oh my god. It has been just rough. Like, I make these videos in between my college classes, and oh, I have so many tests this week. This is like one of those times where you can tell, like, your teachers went to a meeting at some point. There's no way that they would have this good of accuracy. And you, you can tell. They went to a meeting, and they were like, you know what? Splattercat's got all three of our classes. How can we make his life miserable? And one teacher says, I know. I'll do a lab report. And then another teacher's like, well, I'll do a test. And then the third teacher's like, I'll raise you a midterm. And then you're just like, oh my God, for a giant hellish week of suck. And that's kind of where I'm at right now. I'm literally, I have a book in my hand at this moment while I'm filming this. No, I'm kidding. I actually, I am all eyes forward trying to get this video taken care of with the utmost clarity. I actually set the books aside and said, you know what, physics, nobody likes you anyways. Go to hell, physics. You only explain how everything on Earth works. Who would need to know you? So, as soon as they place these blocks, come on guys, up two, up two, three, four, place some blocks. What are you doing, lollygagger? Hopefully going down here, am I out of stone? Nay, we have plenty of stone, 133 stone left. So let's take a look around and see what other projects need to be managed. There's a random fence post sitting here. And I'm going to assume that someone got confused trying to place that. Okay. I thought they would go up over the top and walk across the fence to place that. Obviously, I was wrong. My townies, I can't give them that much credit. Or maybe they're just kind of afraid of heights. Who knows? Heights are kind of creepy. I remember when I was a kid, I had to do this thing. There was like this ropes course. And like the ultimate cool thing. And I was like 12 years old at the time. And so I got peer pressured. Like the ultimate cool thing you could do at this ropes course was to climb a redwood tree. That had like these... It had these metal posts in it, and they hooked you up to like a belay and all that kind of crazy mountain climbing stuff. And you had to climb to the top of this redwood, and then you like jumped out of the redwood for like this rope that was hanging there, and you tried to like swing from it Spider-Man style. And I really, really, really did not want to do it. But like my dad was like a big like Generation X guy, you know, like he had like those wraparound goggle thingies, and he was all about like skydiving and all kinds of crazy shit. So <laughs> my dad did it, and he was like, "Come on, do it." do it let's go and I was like oh my god I really really don't want to do this so I climb this tree and I get all the way to the top and I'm like oh Jesus and I take a look out over and there's like this board that leads out so you can jump to the rope and right as I like stand on the board and I look down my legs are like nah I'm good and my legs just like give out and I just like fall off <laughs> so I have, I have it I kind of an excuse I was 12 but let's place a zone here so yeah I I get the feeling that I just act brave when it comes to heights, but I feel like if I was ever put in like a height 
a height restrictive situation in which I had to react to being at really high altitudes for some reason, I think I might fail. But then again, I'm a geologist now and I climb to the top of mountains and things all the time, so maybe not. Maybe I'm over my strange, well, maybe my knees. I'm not afraid of heights. My knees sure seem to be though. Now, we need to designate this other zone right here. Now that I'm done with story time, story time with Splattercat. Now that I'm done with that, let's go ahead and place our... It doesn't like it when you go into walls. It's like, nah, we're not doing that. No, we're just not doing that. It's like my knees when I was at the rope course. We're not doing that. We're not doing this. So let's try and jimmy our way around there. Flowers, you're, you're growing through my floor. No one loves you. Go away. No, not delete forge. I almost delete my... F I've done this before. I'm having flashbacks to things that have occurred in my past where I've deleted my entire floor plan trying to get rid of flowers and things. Now. All right. So we've got that all taken care of. And what I'd like to do now is let's get people hopping. We're going to dig out this lair right here. Actually, we need to move this iron first. So I'm going to put a temporary stockpile for just a moment. Just a minute. We're going to take our raw material stockpile. And I want all this iron to go to a separate spot. So we'll go over here. And then we'll manage the stockpile. And we're going to disable everything. We're going to go back to materials. And we're going to re-enable iron, flint, silver, gold, copper, and coal. Coal can come too. Come on, coal. And so they should take all this stuff over to here so that I can start placing things properly. And that's going to eliminate the possibility of me having to delete things. I want to dig this out here and make a really cool little walkway, kind of. And then over here we'll have our covered market. Oh, it's going to be sexy. It's going to be pretty sexy up in the little market open air place. It is going to be very nice. And I am very excited about the prospects of placing it. Now our hospital. Our hospital, hospital, hospital. What are we going to do with you, hospital? I have plans for this hospital. It's going to have like a helipad or something, even though we can't have a helicopter. No, we cannot craft a helicopter out of sexy wood. Out of the wood. We cannot make a helicopter out of wood. That would be pretty badass, though, if you could have your barbarians like flying around in like a wooden Blackhawk. But I don't see it happening. What else is going on? Oh, I forgot that I commanded them to mine all that out. That is... An interesting, interesting turn of events. And you can see my mind has just been completely occupied outside of these Let's Plays because I'm forgetting all these little minor things that I'm doing. But let's place our masonry benches, I suppose. How many do we have? Let me count them. We have four sets of what look like... One, two, three, four, five, six. So 24 masonry benches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight... We'll put like two there. And we may have too many. We may not be able to fit this efficiently. We'll find out. And so as they place those, I've already lost count. Counting, I'm not so good at. I got into a class one time that was like number theory or something like that. It was some ridiculous math class that you... Like the only people that take that class are the people that need it for a major or people who sign up for it on accident. I unfortunately needed it for my major at the time, being a computer science major. And I remember distinctly the first day my teacher says... This is a class about counting, so don't be afraid, because all you're going to learn to do is count. And I thought, oh, this isn't going to be so bad. And I learned that I am really bad at counting, and also permutations. I'm bad at counting, I'm bad at math in general, but counting in particular, it was, it was particularly emasculating to learn how bad you are at counting as a 24-year-old college student, just looking absolutely dumb on questions that you should be able to just, like, logic your way through, but for whatever reason, your brain just goes and decides not to function. Now we've got all of these masonry benches. You, masonry bench, I command you, move. Well done, what is your name? What is your name? Borin Speck. Well, Borin, well done, my friend, my amigo, my amigo, my compadre. Now we're going to put some anvils in here. What do you need for anvils? Oh, you need tongs, I don't have any tongs. No tong to tong tong tongs. Those tong to tong tong tongs. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys remember that song. If you're as old as me, or <laughs> if you, if you're as old as me, I remember that song. You should remember it as well. And I almost slipped up and went into caveman speech right there. I don't know if you noticed. I was like, if you as old as me are, I almost went into caveman speech. I'm at any given time. I'm like two. I'm two verbal steps away from slipping into caveman speech at any given moment. Some dudes will know what I'm talking about. It happens. Now. Let's decide how we want to make this all set. And I was kind of hoping, let's move our hauling queue real fast. Maybe up a little bit, up a little bit. 
up a little bit more. All right, let's haul some things. Let's haul. Is anybody going to haul? Anybody? Hmm, move this iron for me, my friends. I need you to iron out this problem. Da -da <laughs> and you can tell I'm out of material when I start making jokes that are just awful. When I start falling back on puns, that's how you can tell. It really, puns are kind of just that fallback joke, like when you're out of ammunition for your joke machine gun. It's like a first person shooter. You switch to your pistol only out of desperation. Well, they don't seem to want to haul any of this stuff, so we may be out of luck as far as placing the next little segment. I wanted to dig this out, but I guess we'll ignore it for now. And let's put in some scaffoldings, and we'll get this next layer started. And I need to fix this so that it doesn't get in the way of things later. There we are. And everything is as it should be, or as it was to begin with. And this boar is all up in here. What are you doing, boar? I want to be part of your culture. <laughs> <laughs> boar culture. Oh, God. Not even going to let my mind run in that pun direction. So many things I could do with boars and their culture, but I'm going to let it go. I'm going to let it go. We're not going to give in. We're just going to keep putting our scaffoldings quietly, and we're going to resist the gentle, well, not the gentle, the rather manhandling call of the ADHD. Now, rapidly transversing my brain. So we'll go make sure I'm on the right layer there, and we'll put that final scaffold in. We don't need too many scaffolds at the moment. I really don't know how tall I want to make this. I may do another stairway and, like, some more apartments on top of this. I don't know. I really, I, as you can see, I like attaching things to stairs. I'm kind of a stair addict. And once that's in place, how much stone do I have left? I have 233 stone, actually, fantastically. Usually, I am well out of stone by this point, so let's get back to building. And I'll leave a little space here, and I don't want to overdo this. We don't want to overdo this, because then they'll end up just doing crazy amounts of stone hauling for the rest of this episode. And we don't want that. That is what we do not want. In between now and the next episode, just kind of let you know what's on the horizon. We need to get down into the minus four, so we can start getting some real heroes to show up in here. Right now, all we have is kind of these generic, like, RC Cola heroes. And I apologize, if you're a fan of RC Cola... I am too. It was the only thing I could think of at the time, but we have generic heroes, and that's kind of a problem for me, because I like the named ones. The named ones tend to be a bit more efficient, and namely, I really wish we did not have these barbarians. Like, this guy right here, Gandalf the Hootie Tot, is like sucking up all the good gear, well, all the reasonably decent gear, and I feel like he just doesn't pull his weight. At the moment, we only have one hero that I would actually care about, Vyalmer Vavers, kind of the rural juror of elvish heroes. You have no idea, like, how to say his name or how to pronounce it. It's just really difficult. Vyalmer Vavur. If you could have a few more Vs in there. God. But anyways, he's the only hero that I really care about at the moment. I kind of want the rest of these barbarians to die off. So I may lock them down in the dungeon in the future once I get it kind of segmented. Get it all sealed off. And then we're going to start digging down to the minus four. That is in the future. Other things, our food supply, just to give you kind of a status update, our food supply is fantastic. We're making cakes and all kinds of crazy stuff. And now that we have cakes, I think we can actually fax, we can fast track our immigration needs. So getting more housing down is going to allow us at this point to probably, oh, I'd love to get up to about 40 citizens maybe. Let me take a look and make sure nothing horrible is happening up here in my notifications. Okay, we're good. I would like to get up to about 40. 40 citizens, 40 townies seems to be a pretty decent number. That seems to be where I would like to put us for right now. In the end, I would love, if we don't get deleted again by the developer, I would love to get up to 100 townies or more in this Let's Play. Just see how long it runs and just see how successful of a town we can make. But for the time being, 40, I think, is how many I'm going to try and attract before the next couple episodes. Just because I'd like to get work done a little quicker. Our work schedule is eh. Like, it's, it's alright, we're getting things done, but eh, I'd like them to go a little quicker. And when I like things to go a little quicker, I make the eh noise, so you're going to be hearing a lot more of that. I'm not going to make it any more, though, because I'm starting to annoy myself with my own noises, which, you know, when you're a particularly obnoxious human being, you tend to do that. Like, that's how you know that you're really good at being annoying, is that when you annoy yourself, you're like, God, I need to shut the hell up. So, we're placing this next layer here, and other things that would probably be important to focus on... Now that we have food and everything else taken care of, we can also start with building our housing down here, maybe. So long as... Well, let me take stock of my food real fast. Just to make sure, because I don't want people focusing on... We have 17 cakes, we got like 10 apples, some breads laying around, 27, eh. 
we're in okay shape. I'm not really happy. I guess mushrooms count as well. We've got some pies left over. We swapped from a pie to a cake-based society, which means I had to refile all my paperwork with all the cake and pie-based societies. We are firmly on the other side of the aisle. It's kind of like if you're into American politics, it's like switching from Republican to Democrat. Like, the pie people don't really like us anymore. The cake people are totally stoked. They're like, all right, man. It's all kind of backpats and happiness. And I did something stupid here. He's going to starve to death. So let me get some more scaffoldings laid down. And hopefully someone comes along and does that before he starves to death. I didn't realize that I was effectively blocking myself off here. Although I may be able to do it like so. Are you going to do what I want you to do? Duke Cor No, not Duke Corsell. If Duke Corsell dies, I'm going to be kind of sad. He's one of my favorite names. He's our local newscaster. Duke Corsell with the 3 o'clock news. And so, please put down a scaffold. Police? Do not make me cancel all this. I swear to God, townies. Alright, I you got me to do it. I canceled it. Now go and do the things that I would like you to do, townies. Namely, save Duke Corsell from himself. I think would probably be the best course of action. How's he looking on food right now? Just to make sure. Duke Corsell, where are you? Let's see here. He's in bad shape. He needs a scaffolding, like, right now. Okay, good. So the scaffolding is down. And they canceled the one over here, all on their lonesome, all by themselves. I'm so proud. And now, this third layer is going to go up, but let's build some housing over here and see what we can get done here, because we have loads of wood. If there's one thing we are not lacking here in our culture, it is wood. So, try and decide what I want to do with this right here. Maybe something like that. Yeah, that'll probably look okay. And so we'll carry these all the way down to the end. There we are. And then I went in for just to the edge of there. Leave that space right there, and then voila! The easy housing plan that I didn't plan on, and our screen just froze, which means we've got another... Are you serious? We just had one of these. An evil badger siege. Don't they just run off with food? I think badgers just run off with food. Let them have our cake. Whatever. We'll maintain relations with the badger people. I don't actually think they do. I think they, like, move at warp speed and they steal your stuff. So there's really no way to stop them anyways without, I don't know, without having a wall around your city or some kind of bows or something. I know that my townies can't run that fast, so... Oh, we might get one. Kill that evil badger. Slay him. Murder him. Bring me his blood. His badgery blood. Alright, so we're laying down the walls here. I kind of think that I should probably make some more carpentry benches because I feel as though my carpentry throughput may be somewhat hobbled by the fact that I got rid of several tables before I moved over here just for the sake of making, like, because these will face the wall, and that doesn't make any sense. Like, unless they're working through the back of the desk, which would be really talented, I'll admit. If they can work through the back of the desk, I would be pretty stoked about it, but... I just don't like the way it looks. It looks weird. It looks strange. It looks deviant, and I don't very much like it, sir. So I'll let them work for now, just laying in these walls, getting this floor plan done, and it feels pretty good. I'm gonna be honest, it feels pretty good to get our initial floor plan laid down. So what I am going to do is get a little bit more creative. We'll play around with some ideas here as we go along. But for these corners, maybe it would look good. Hmm, I don't know which block to use. I'm pondering aesthetically what would look nicest. Maybe some of these. Maybe some of these would tie these together, maybe. Well, maybe not. Maybe, maybe, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, before you start chopping stone, we'll go with these blocks. We'll see how these look because they'll match the building next door. And we want to be matching. We want to be fashion savvy in our bricklaying. And so we'll lay this down as well. And we'll put that there. And I get the feeling this might be kind of cool. I'm going to mess with it as we go up layers. We're going to make like a little design. See if we can get it to turn out a little bit better than our ridiculous clown house over here. I don't... I'm not really sure what happened in the course of events here. I think I went one layer too high, to be honest. I If I lowered this by one layer, it would look better. But then this on... This kind of entryway right here would look strange. So it's kind of a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Something is going to look weird with this building in the end. And I decided to make this look normal over here and just allowed this to look weird. I do like our little fence, though. I am kind of proud of it. This badger jumps our fence. Our fences are not badger repellent, unfortunately. 
We just have a severe infestation problem. We really do. Like, this entire area, when was the last time you saw a wild chicken wandering around? Do those even exist in nature? I don't think chickens can be wild anymore. I think they're like sheep, where they've more or less been converted completely into a farm animal. But I'm not going to ponder it for too long. That's a question for the biologists, not a question for the geologists. Once it dies and gets fossilized, I'll start caring about it. So, chicken, hurry up and drop dead and get fossilized. It's like, ah, I thought we were friends. So... Other things that I would like to work on, we can, I think we can fill this in right here. I, that's what I'm going to do, just to make it look less like I have a strange death pit in the middle of my town. Because the last thing our town needs is a death pit, so there we are. We'll have that filled in with stone, and why is there a scaffold over here? Just a random scaffold laying around. We needed the scaffold to pick! Do you pick sugar? I don't think you pick sugar. Honestly, I have no clue how sugar is processed. I have no clue, which is weird, because I am Hawaiian, so you think I would know something about, like, CNH sugar, or, like, how a sugar cane is harvested or something, but, eh. Ignorant. Blissfully ignorant. I don't really like... Hmm. Well, I could... They're gonna... The problem that I have here is I don't really like how square-shaped this is, but if I don't fill these in, they'll walk through the walls. That looks nice, actually. That gives it a nice rustic look. So I'm glad we chose those blocks to go in the corners. Not to switch subjects. If I don't fill this in, they'll walk through the corners and it'll just drive me nuts. It'll make me crazy watching them walk through walls like some kind of crazy towny ghost. Some weird teleporting fiend. A cow. <laughs> there are cows living in my dormitory. Let's place the rest of these wood blocks before too long here. We'll go in like so. We'll leave space for a door there. Kind of in like that. And yeah, I think that looks pleasant. That looks pretty nice. Leave ourselves a little space to work with. Just so we don't get ourselves into trouble. And I was thinking about bulldozing this building. I wasn't a fan of it to begin with, but it's growing on me. It's growing on me. Like the mold in my bathroom, it is growing on me. That's actually kind of disgusting now that I think about that. Ew. There's like this weird... My my bathroom looks like Silent Hill right now. I'll post a picture of it at some point. My bathroom looks like Silent Hill. like, And it's not because I don't clean it. Like, there's an inherent mold problem in my apartment complex. And there's like this... You know that effect? If you ever saw the Silent Hill movie? Where everything first starts to rot over. And everything starts turning like that reddish brown color. That's what my ceiling is doing right now in my bathroom. And really, I'm moving out in like two months, so I really don't care. I probably It's probably bad for my respiratory system. Someone had raised that point. Someone in one of my classes was like, Oh, mold is really, really bad for you. And I'm like, eh, I never get sick. It's because of the mold. It strengthens me. It grows within me. It helps me resist the cold and the flu and everything else. We have an agreement, the mold and I, much like the spiders. But spider mold, no, we don't collaborate with spider molds. Mm-mm-mm. So once these blocks are laid down, that's probably going to put me in a good spot to end this episode. But until then, the episode... Haha, <laughs> I faked you out. We're not going to end until those blocks are placed. So, other things, once we get down to the minus four, got to be a little careful. I don't know how once this floor is removed, I have this horrible tendency to be like, MINE ALL THE THINGS! And just mine like crazy. And then my townies are idiots, and so instead of mining like one square over, they're like, Arr! And they just fall into the hole, and they get eaten by goblins and snickers and all kinds of other crazy stuff. So, that's right, in Boo, Snickers eat you. But no, um, I have this horrible tendency to dig too fast, and then my townies fall in and die. And the whole thing is just a general tragedy, because then I've got to go through the horrible immigration system and get more immigrants. And I know, I know, guys, there are easy ways to get immigrants, but they all just feel kind of cheesy to me, and I can't bring myself to use them. Like, the Hall of Happiness is a method that a lot of people have suggested. And yes, I, I have perused the Hall of Happiness model, but I like to keep it close to the chest unless we're playing Prison Architect, and then I just put workshops everywhere. So hopefully, this episode has been entertaining to you. Are all the blocks in place? Oh, you guys lucked out. You still got a couple more minutes. They haven't placed all the blocks. So I will do my spiel, though. My, my spiel, my speech. It's the same every time. So if you've heard it, you can probably bail out at this point. And you probably won't be missing anything. I'm going to be really honest. If you're a faithful viewer, then, you know, you know what's coming right now. But... My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me in this, the next episode of Our Town's LP. I greatly enjoy having you here to spend some time with me and just generally get some building done. I find it relaxing. I have lots of tests and stuff right now, but for this brief 20-minute period, I have felt much better about my testing schedule. I've relaxed a little bit, and for that, I thank you guys for joining me. If you do enjoy the video, don't forget to give it a little like down there right underneath the video, 
And if you want to hang around for a little bit, subscribe. There is going to be a new video every morning at 5 in the manana. So if you're interested, I will have one up every single day, and I will see you then. So take care out there, everybody, and I hope you have a great day.